Today in this video we will cover What is adverse news? How to perform negative news checks Frequency of when to perform negative news checks Examples of negative news Tips to consider and conclusion What is adverse news? Adverse news is defined as any sort of bad information on a person or entity that is gathered from various sources. The adverse information might be related to money laundering, terrorist financing, white collar crime, financial fraud, racketeering or organised crime and so much more. Sources of information for negative news. The sources of information at the time of performing negative news checks may include blogs, news articles from reputable sources, international publications, local newspaper articles and social media platforms. How to perform a negative news check Adverse news checks are performed using screening tools that are available in the market. The tool screens through the sources available on the internet for adverse information by matching various attributes such as full legal name, location, nationality and even age. How often should negative news checks be performed? Although there is no set regulatory requirement to perform it on a monthly or quarterly basis, the financial institution has to demonstrate they have a robust screening program in place which will capture any negative news. This is important because any adverse information for a customer initially considered low can result in the risk rating being increased. What to do with the results? An analysis of all relevant matches must be performed to determine if the overall result is a positive or false positive match and then perform additional investigation if required. Repetitious adverse news indicates that the client possesses a substantial level of risk, so further due diligence is necessary. Tips to consider when screening. The scope of adverse news is not limited to an accusation or conviction related to financial crimes. A client's bad reputation is enough to pose risks. For example, if you have a customer, ABC Limited, and they are fined for having insufficient controls to identify and combat money laundering, your organisation may also be at risk. To conclude, adverse media checks are an important component of the risk assessment programme and should be performed diligently. With the advancement of RegTech, the process of adverse news checks has been automated to a certain extent. However, it is human intervention at the time of reviewing the hits which can determine the difference between having a good or insufficient ongoing screening program in place. Conclusion continued. Organisations should ensure that they have adverse news policies and system in place to protect themselves from reputational risks while at the same time provide in-depth insights on the risks posed by the adverse news. A client with a bad reputation and adverse news can put a financial institution at risk of supporting and encouraging money laundering and as a result, jeopardising your own reputation. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video beneficial to better understand the basics of what is adverse news. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more AML KYC related content.